this is a clip taken from Two Ladies to Try, featuring BGL, where he basically says that he thinks Joe Rogan won't ever have Anne Lederman back on the show again because of what she said about Brendan basically offering her a truck walk, which I think is really ludicrous, really, really bizarre personally. But this is what BGL is saying. He's on the inside. He knows more than we know because he's actually been there. So there may be some truth to this. So this is a clip taken from Two Ladies to Try's channel, I guess taken from another interview that he did. Let's play it. He has to say. Time Kalila and Annie Letterman were like dog piling on him. And I just thought that was gross as in general of like, you're trying to like, me too, this guy essentially. And guess what? Joe Rogan agrees. <laughs> I can't say that I know how I know this, but it's like, yeah. Do you think you'll see Annie Letterman on Joe Rogan anytime soon? Probably not. I know for a fact. <laughs> These hosts are look bad. In it. But yeah, I don't know. Like, what reason, what reason, honestly, could Joe Rogan have to be upset at Annie Letterman? Unless, unless, unless it's actually not true and she made it up, which I don't think is true because I remember in that pod, so specifically in that podcast, if I remember correctly, because I remember listening to the whole thing, they were talking about men in general. It's like a topic that came up about frustrations and dating and whatnot. And that's when she decided to say what she said about the unnamed comedian. And then um, Kalala says, yeah, I know that guy. Oh, my God. He was in my, we know his girl, or whatever. Right? That's when she got involved. But it wasn't like they were when, when to expose him. It was just like them talking in general, being young women and how they find it hard to date and stuff. Just saying, you know, general complaints that girls have on podcasts. I don't know. Girls always talk about that sort of shit, relationships and whatnot. So it didn't actually seem like a calculated lie. It seemed like something, oh, yeah, at least one guy, you know, that kind of thing you remember, like, fuck that dude. So I don't see why that would ever be a lie if it came across that way. So I'm, I'm in my head, it's kind of baffling to figure out what Joe Rogan would have an issue with if that did actually happen. Maybe he has issue with her saying it in public. I don't really too sure. But he more than anyone should know how difficult it is for women to navigate in that comedy scene, right? With it being, because I think it's the same thing at DJ culture or DJ industry or nightlife and dance music. I think it must be doubly hard if you're a female, especially if you're an attractive female, just because it's nightlife. And you just encounter way more creeps and way more awful people, like way, way, way more. So you just have to kind of just be on your P's and Q's and just keep your head on a swivel. So I'd imagine Joe Rogan, with, with him being quite friendly and familiar with a lot of these kind of prominent females and women in an industry, that he would maybe be a little bit more sensitive to it. Obviously, with him having daughters also, he'd maybe be a bit more aware of how difficult it is to kind of navigate that kind of thing and be able to sympathize with it. But maybe not. Maybe his loyalty is lie with Brendan and he's, that's his actual friend. I'm not too sure. But if this is the reason why we haven't seen Annie Lederman, Annie Lederman, sorry, on the Joe Rogan experience, that's pretty fucked up, to be fair. If anything, that will probably make other women who go through stuff or maybe feel uncomfortable or maybe have sketchy encounters with people, male comics for the most part, it make them very hesitant to say anything because now they know it could severely hamper your career prospects because let's you know let's not sugarcoat it being joe rogan's friend is beneficial to your career it's definitely going to help you so the fact that these guys <laughs> now have now been told in a weird way that hey make sure if you're saying what you're saying even if it happened keep it yourself is a little bit sketchy little bit little bit little bit little bit sketchy so i don't know man i just i can't imagine that being the truth i can't imagine that being true at all the jurgen wouldn't have her on just because of what she said about brendan because that story did sound legit again maybe she did make it up who knows but considering the context of the conversation and what they're talking about and how they basically stuck to their guns and she doubled down after the fact and the way brendan reacted to the questioning when he got grilled about it on schultz's show it just seemed like it happened to me in my opinion and i think because it was such a great area imagine if you because if you imagine if you are cheating on somebody or you're trying to hook up with somebody but then they expose you proposition somebody to walk you to the to your car is quite a generic vague thing to say if you want to spin it in like you didn't do what the, she, she said you did right if you, you, you that's what i'm talking about so if you kind of want to you know tell your missus back home hey i didn't do that she's lying or she misrepresented me you can because walk me to my truck is quite vague you know, it's not the most direct thing. It's not like, can you come over? All this sort of stuff. I mean, it's a little bit, 
So maybe that's the reason why he was able to get away there. I'm not too sure. But regardless, thoughts, to our, thoughts and feelings go out to Andy Liederman, if that's the case. You you kind of, you know, you had some big cojones and you basically, if anything, Andy Liederman was the one that's important because she's the one that kind of spearheaded and pushed this whole, like, you know, prominent movement with some comedians to come out and actually say how they feel about Brendan and Brian or Chris Lira and stuff because, you know, that, those those girls in general, Kalila, you know, um, Anne Liederman, Esther, them being brave enough to say what's going on behind the scenes on their very public platform gave people the license to maybe be a little bit more confident and speak out uh, because before that everyone was a bit more shy a bit more afraid and maybe Joe Rogan moving to Texas helped but they definitely were the reason people kind of were able to speak out and say things so they really had bigger balls than most of the guys in that scene which kind of says a lot about the guys in that scene really but if she kind of had to kind of sacrifice her career for it that's a shame but maybe it's for the best because it makes sure you know it avoids other people getting into trouble but it'd be disappointing if that's true if Derek and Jim not having a run because of that that'd be really 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 bad but you know you never know with these guys man they're full of surprises 